Hello. Um, this is a very spludgy start to quite a, a specific geometric -y drawing, actually. Uh, I'm trying to show the light and shade, so you can't really tell yet what it's going to be. It looks a bit blobby like an asteroid, doesn't it? But it's not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Coriolis. It's uh, it's pointing towards that star. You, you start as a start, putting a little bit more detail in. You'll see the um, the entryway to the Coriolis. I've always had a great fondness for that shape, that cube that's that's not a cube. Um, when I was a kid, we had a book of polyhedra. You could trace and cut out and make three D shapes, and um, I was I really loved them. I think I think uh, it sort of all meshed together. I'm, I'm, <laughs> my brother really was the one that really made them well he was very good at it but then uh, i think he's something like an algebraic topologist now that's quite insulting really not to know exactly what he does but he does lots of things involving maths anyway so yes um, we used to play elite and uh, those revolving polyhedra really uh, are the essence of the game though the the planet which was static but you knew was revolving because the moving circle on it or or the moving cross that went across at an angle across it and and that particularly strong memory i have of the toast rack the mailbox as as it sweeps round as you're going into it and you can see stars so you don't actually know whether you're aiming at the space station at that point or you're just looking through it because of course the space station first iteration of the game didn't block out the stars behind so so you could be looking and you think am I going am I is that it is that line sweeping across the screen now is that is that me going into the test track or is that me hitting the wall of the space station and dying <laughs> game over commander Jameson but yeah, this is gorgeous though. This is a really lovely um, Coriolis. This one is it's lit by this by this star, this, this really um, deep yellow star that's giving out this wonderful golden light. And it's got quite a lot of red in the, the browns of the that it's casting on this um, base station's front. There's just not enough crystal clarity in this going on because you, you know these space stations, they're so detailed. And I could probably spend hours and hours and hours doing these and I just wouldn't make it I just couldn't get it good and I think I just have to know when to quit when you realise you just can't. I think I've done them in the past with pencil and they take forever so, and I've been thinking about this one for a while thinking I could do this, I could do it. Honestly they're, they're just so complex and I can't, I, I can't. So I've had a good bash but it's kind of patchy and painterly. And uh, it's got that slightly abstracted quality that I'm going to call a, a choice. <laughs> but I enjoyed doing this, though, a lot more than I thought I would. Sometimes they're a bit like uh, they're a bit of a barrier, but things that are this detailed and complex. But I found that not drawing the complex bits has made it a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>